What is up YouTube fam? The weekend is around the corner. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I just wanted to drop this video out before the weekend begins. We're going to be covering a Samsung Note 8. We did get a few requests for it, so we just wanted to go and release it and show you guys our process and how we replace the front screen on these bad boys. We really hope you guys are enjoying our content. If you guys are, please click down on the bottom right and click subscribe. We're going to be pushing out some more videos in the future, so please stand by. I know we still have in the works S10 Plus. We're just finalizing some last minute parts for that device. Once we get everything in, we'll be sure to push that video out. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to leave them down below and we'll get to them in a timely manner. If you guys do need a screen repair, let us know. We'll be more than happy to send you a prepaid label. Just fill out our form on our website at mrphonedoctor.com. So let's step back into the shop and let's get this sucker dissected. Back up, back up, back up, back up. What is up guys welcome back to the lab here is the note 8 that we're going to be working with today can see it's got some pretty heavy damage on the bottom right and actually up on top on the top right as well so we're going to do a test make sure everything's fully working and she is working properly touch is fully responsive which is great so our next step is we're going to want to go ahead and uh, remove the AMOLED display and glass from this mid-frame bezel. Okay, we have removed the middle frame successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and put my initials on the OLED. And we can go ahead and give her a test, make sure everything's fully working. All right, there she is. Everything's fully responsive. So it's safe to move to the next step and remove the glass. We just don't give a damn. AMOLED display is removed. We can go ahead and give her another test. Make sure touch and everything is fully working. And there she is. Now on to the next step where we can actually clean all the glue that is left over. Alright, so the display is clean. We're going to want to go in and get a final test in. Make sure touch is fully responding. And as you guys can see, it's fully working. And it is the OLED that we started with. So now we'll go and go over to the laminating station and we'll apply the glass onto this OLED. Hey guys, so I just reviewed the video I just recorded and I noticed that the audio was off. So I apologize for that. 
Anyhow, in this next step, what we do is we laminate the OCA in glass onto the AMOLED display. I had previously laminated the OCA in glass just to save some time. So it was already pre-prepped, ready to go. So what we're gonna do in this step is just laminate the OCA in glass onto the AMOLED display. So the bubble removing process has finished. We're gonna go in and pull out the screen from our handy dandy autoclave machine. I'm gonna go in and give it a test, make sure that the touch and everything is fully working. And you can see the picture looks beautiful. And the touch is fully responsive. And all the bubbles have been removed successfully with this machine here. So once again, guys, uh, we appreciate you guys checking out our videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them down below. Um, if you want to reach out to us, you can follow us um, on social media platforms at Mr. Phone Doctor. And um, please subscribe, guys. We appreciate it. And we look forward to making more videos. So if you guys have any suggestions as far as videos goes let us know we'll be more than happy to make a video for you guys we'll see you guys in the next episode cheers